Day three, the final day here at Eurobike and our voices are all getting a little croaky. It's been a long few days, actually it's been a long few weeks getting ready for all this. Today's typically consumer day or people's day. That's been done away with this year, but from what I'm seeing here, I think everyone's just sneaking in anyway. So I haven't done a walkthrough this year yet. We've just been looking at products, looking at specific things that have been catching eyes. And the last couple of years I've done the walkthroughs and everyone's loved those. So let's just go through today's, well, this year's 2018 Eurobike walkthrough. Enjoy. A huge omission from this year's show, which we're quite disappointed with, was there's no fashion show. The last few years, if you've followed the journey along with me here at Eurobike, there's been dancers up here, there's been guys and girls and bikes and you name it, just showcasing all the new products up there. But this year, it's kind of it's very quiet, it's very business-like up there. There's no real entertainment. Even though this year is only B2B, there's no B2C. We still need some entertainment here, so hopefully next year we'll see those people dancing again with bike wheels and in Lycra. Back over here at the Ceramic Speed single carbon drive shaft bike here. This thing is super popular. I had 24,000 views on my video overnight. Still a heap of people here looking at this technology. It's pretty cool. We're shooting videos of videos. <laughs> <laughs> We're having so much fun here. The Omnium trainer there from Feedback Sports. It's been here for the last few years. No real changes to that device. I'd love to see some speed, maybe some power estimation coming out of that unit so it can be a little bit more of a smart trainer. Maybe next year. Still a good device. You might not be able to pick it up on camera, but Shimano had this really cool blue lighting system in their flooring. It's all about the lighting these days, and I want some of these lighting strips in the Llama Lab. I do have to mention, this year is a little quieter. The tour has started, so a lot of the media are over at the Tour de France. Time slot probably hasn't worked out for them and maybe the reason why they're changing the time slot to four weeks later next year. Sneaking back past Elite and the Fuero Pista is still front and centre. But not only the front one, have a look at all the people standing behind here. There's some pretty big names having a look at that device there as well and there's a bit of a cross company, I guess, observations going on. I won't name names, but look, everyone's looking at each other's technology, and which is a good thing here at Eurobike, because it just uh, opens up some ideas for maybe what we'll see next year. Always one of my favorite stands here at Eurobike. The wooden ranch style shack they, uh, they make every year, complete with the bullhorns at the top. Seriously, one of the coolest value adds here at Eurobike is the massage service here. People are walking around all day for the full three days, sometimes with backpacks on. Awesome value add. Well done to Eurobike for getting those guys here. I do think that's pretty bold going with Mercedes Benz style and sticking Altegra on the showcase bike here. Mm, Durace next time, guys. Durace. What they call the 
super flow. I'm not quite sure what's flowing out the back of a saddle to call it the super flow, but it's a pretty wide uh, gap at the back there. On second thoughts, I'm not sure if I'll include that. I was touching that saddle very, uh, very weirdly. Okay, let's keep going. So Muckoff have gone very big this year with their stand and their cool grungy, is it grungy, gritty brand? I think it's a clean kind of brand is what they're after. But not a bad looking stand, it stands out. That's the Stack Zero Smart Trainer there that doesn't actually touch any part of your wheel at all. It works via magnets. Ray's got a review of that up. It's an interesting unit, but it does look like a car has run over it. So the design award, probably not for that, but the product award, maybe. I've not seen one of those trainers before. It looks like a bit of a lost dog sitting there in the corner of the, uh, the display. No info whatsoever on it. looks like just a standard wheel on trainer of some type. Not the first and not the last aero sensor that we'll see here at Eurobike. This is probably about the third or fourth one that Ray and I have had a look. I'll link below to Ray's article on a number of these aero sensors, but I really can't wait to get one of these home on those long open roads back home in Ballarat because I think we'll get some really clean data. This is what happens when there's a miscommunication at the marketing department. Hey guys, we're going to the world's biggest bike show. Wrong bike. Back again in 2018 here. One for the people you don't like. It's the Coffin Box.
So one of the interesting indoor bikes I've spotted here and I've dubbed the Furoshita. It's not quite the Furopista. Actually, the only similarity it has, it has a saddle, it's brown, and it has handlebars. Everything else is completely different with this unit here. So uh, I believe the accuracy of this unit is plus or minus 150%. It has probably no inertia whatsoever. Crank length of probably 135. It has a Q factor of a, well, probably a snowboard. And uh, no amp plus or Bluetooth. So I think it's a lot of work to be done here on the Fudo Shitta for next year. So there is actually a bike there, and that was super thin until I panned down to those wheel areas. That got a little bit ugly, but let's have a closer look at this bike. And I've just found the perfect bike for the yellow element bolt. Right there. I might be a little biased, but the Booth Award today goes to Zwift for showing the stage of the Tour de France. Everyone's here to watch. Jesper from Cycling Hub, 4K to go. Who's your pick for this stage? Sagan. Sagan? Yeah. All right, let's check it out, see who wins. Cycling hub, got it right. Good job, Jesper. Thank you, Shane. So the team from XKD saw me grabbed me over to their booth and showed me the latest products. They do have a left-right XKD power meter coming and they do tell me it is both AMP Plus and Bluetooth power transmission. That's a good thing. They also show me their indoor trainer. These guys are getting into indoor trainers. Let's have a quick look at that trainer here. What we see is something very similar to the Gravat, very similar to the Kicker Core and some technology they used that we saw back in 2014 on the original Kicker. idea what that's about. Hair basket? Baskets from hair? I'm not sure. So rumour has it at the start of Eurobike this mannequin was standing straight but after three full days of uh, trying to work out what that ad is about with the hair basket he's giving it a bit of a what the? So over at the main stage where all the awards are here at Eurobike, there was the carbon drive by Ceramic Speed with the full cassette on the back, which sort of indicated what they would be doing with gearing in the near future. Over here at Ceramic Speed, the stand itself, they've got a single speed version of this, which looks just as cool and has attracted just as much attention this morning.
I just dropped in to see the team, what team, Powerbeat, and uh, they're all smiles and having a good time there. They've had a good show. They've actually given me a pair of socks to wear and uh, in very good humor. They've made socks called Balance Socks. One sock has 51%, the other one has 49%. And for nerd in-jokes, that's pretty funny. So, got myself a pair of Balance Socks. I just have to know which leg to put them on based on the... Anyway, you know what I'm saying. So there we are, a bit of a walkthrough look at Eurobike and just some random shots and some random observations, having a bit of fun walking around, letting my hair down, so to speak. But look, I've got to say, it's a bit of a ghost town here today. I mean, there's, it was quite nice walking around. We weren't sort of elbow to elbow with everybody, but it's really missing out. So I think they knew that early on. That's why Eurobike will be one month later next year. So that's it for now. We've got a few more videos to do in the meantime, but for the walkthrough, We'll, uh, we'll be back in 13 months to do it all again, 2019. Thanks for watching.